legend is on from the Chippewan down of the Great Lake they call Gitchagoody. The lake it is said never gives up her dead when the gales of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron or 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and crew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. Well, the ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. And as the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some turns with a couple of steel firms, when she left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Well, the wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing. And every man knew, as the captain did too, t'was a witch of November come stealing. Well, the dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know you. Well, the captain wired in had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when her lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The 
church bells chime till it chime twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchukumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of Good job.